So, uh, welcome to this week's video. Um, this week we've had a, quite a lot of bad weather um, and things haven't always gone to plan because of that. So, we'll uh, show you what we've been up to. It's a bit of a short video, but uh, we hope you enjoy it anyway. So in between the rain showers today, we've just popped out to get some carrots for tonight's tea with, uh, to go with the turkey. So I'm just hoping this one's going to do us a baby carrot. Yeah, I think that'll be all right. Yeah, that one will be better all. We need to just thin them out so that the others can grow. Oh, that's maybe a little bit thin. These will do for dinner tonight once they're cleaned off and trimmed off. Just look at that little beauty. It's her first day out today, the little brown one. She just reminds me of Mabel when she was a baby. She's absolutely adorable. <laughs> So I'm just carrying along here, um, I cleared that bit, I think it was last week and now I'm hopefully going to get the rest of this wall done, finished today, just to make it look a bit tidier. So as you can probably see, yeah, I've just finished streamer in apart from a, a patch just down near the bottom, um, it's got a load of wildflowers in it and we want to leave it a little while just to see if we can get them to seed a bit more um, we have patches of wildflowers but the farmer next door's whole field's covered in them um, it'd be nice if we can do that as well I know you know it, when it gets to this time of year we've got to cut them again but um, yeah if we can get some nice wildflowers all the way up it'll be not quite nice for a while and as you can see in this tree we've got some quite nice apple blossom coming um, we haven't actually trimmed this tree back this year because, uh, yeah, it's a bit, bit rotten and there's only these upright branches on it, so we're just seeing what we can do with that.
So while I'm screaming up near the caravan and on the driveway, uh, Debbie's just doing some weeding around here and she's doing a really good job. She's done down just down where the uh, rock near the bathroom and in front of where I had the uh, where I dug the hole out for the water where I still haven't filled in yet so need to get on with that um, and she's just going along the beds as you can see just emptying all this out uh, so we'll show you that when we've got it done I've just been streaming up by the uh, caravan uh, got rid of most of that lead there I'll cut it down but I've got rid of it um, and I've just started on the other side um, just working my way along the uh, little bit of garden at the top just working my way along this uh, top wall but I've just fallen off it <laughs> and then I landed down here somewhere so <laughs> just having a breather for a minute um, yeah so I'm just going along here uh, I'm going to tidy all this metal and bits out what have been stood here for a long while uh, just trying to have some ideas of what to do with this up here and behind the house um, I think I'm going to put a a drain down there of some sort uh, but that's another another day when we've had a good think about what we can do um, I'm also going to go outside and just do down the gully towards where I've just parked my car on the next door neighbours so I'll just get this bit done and then I'll uh, move my car back and do outside the gate as you can probably see yeah uh, as you look around there's awful lot to do still uh, the gates one painting uh, I need to get the caravan sold as we said before in another video uh, need to get some of this moved so we can actually get the caravan out uh, which is going to be next on the agenda after uh, finishing the streaming and the land uh, which we're almost caught up with so we'll do some of that next um, it's trying to get something you know in order of an importance and what we can do uh, before it gets too hot because uh, this stuff's gonna be quite heavy work to move I would think I need some stone out the Adega floor and we're gonna put some of this into it so uh, that's gonna be another job getting some more of that out I thought we were just about level but uh, I think I'd be better off taking the stone out of there which I think's good stone uh, look rather like the grey slate up near the caravan and uh, get rid of some of this rubbish underneath it rather than have it taken away so as you can probably see Debbie's done a little bit more weeding down here uh, it's made a heck of a job still got the bit at the back to do but we haven't put any uh, broken stone down there yet and we're going to put the tomatoes back down there in bags again I think um, that will be happening well next week now though I don't think so we'll see how we do Lila quite chopped down earlier uh, in the years sorry they've been end of last year uh, this afternoon I'm starting to move some of the uh, soil out of the Adega floor uh, ready to put some hardcore in it and then we're going to concrete it up at some point it'll be a um, bit of a long job um, I am going to get it all done this week I am going to attempt I'm having a bit of a bad week really uh, breathing wise as you might hear um, but you know these things we've still got to get on with it while it's uh, dry uh, because uh, the weather's going to turn again for a few days and then uh, after that it's going to start getting hot I think uh, which is great but not for working in um, so a day will be nice for that because it's a bit cooler in there but barrowing it out to the beds isn't going to be um, I am so sure about the, the soil um, I'm going to put it in one of the beds anyway uh, but if anybody sort of has any pointers on it I'm gonna mix some uh, 
compost with it as well at a later date. Uh, that won't be today. Um, I don't even think I'll get the bed filled today, but uh, I'll just show you what the soil looks like. So as you can probably see, it's very red, uh, very sandy. In fact, it's almost like a, uh, a wet sand. It isn't, it's dry. Um, so as I say, I'm going to mix, mix this up with some of the compost, what we've got, like the one on the right. Um, as we fill it, I'm going to put like a couple of barrels full, mix it. Um, I'm just topping up the sides of this bed at the moment. One, because I want to get rid of the soil, and two, because this bed needs to be higher. But as you can see, we've got onions in the middle. The cabbage I'm not so worried about, uh, that's past its best. We're feeding the hens on it, so that's all good. But if I can get the bed topped up, little weeds pulled out as I go along. Um, yeah, that'll be good for today. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get it full, full, but uh, yeah, as I say, we'll get a few barrel loads in and see how we're doing. So this is what I'm doing in the Adega. I'm digging all this soil out at the back. Um, I'm going to dig it all the way down to the door, uh, but the back is a lot higher than the uh, door area. Um, but I'm also taking some of the big stones out. Uh, what I find. Um, so yeah, I'm going to uh, just carry on digging this out and uh, when we get sorted all the hard car under the big lump big mountain uh, some of that's going to come in here and get crushed down uh, hopefully then we'll uh, concrete the floor um, and just make this space a little bit, little bit more usable and of course it's not just about standing things in here it's also about getting rid of some of the rubble um, there's an awful lot there it's very expensive to remove uh, one of the quotes we got just for a skip was actually 200 euros to deliver it 200 to you to remove it once it was full um, I think depending on what we were putting in it it was 20 pound a ton and it could go up to 90 pound a ton um, which you can figure you know for the amount of stuff there is there that's going to start getting very expensive so believe it or not uh, there's five barrel loads come out of that area there. Uh, still got loads to do. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm struggling at the moment, so I'm going to do some lighter work. Uh, I've got some other things to do. Because um, I'm having to dig this out, go to the other end and then dig it out of the barrow. Uh, five's enough at a go. And that's what five looks like in this bed. Uh, it's only halfway up to where I want it. I haven't even started on the other side. Uh, yeah, it's quite a quite a lot of stuff in there, and it just doesn't seem to go anywhere. So for a little bit of an easier job, I'm just going to start pulling some of this out. Um, it was what Debbie started the other day. She's done an awful good job with the other three, four bins. Uh, I'm just going to do in front of this one and see how far we get. I really want to get started on that, sooner the better. Um, yeah. Now I'm thinking whether to start on that and leave this for Debbie another day. See how much of that I can get out. Yeah, I think we'll have a go at the big mountain and leave this for uh, Debbie for another, go, another day. So I didn't get as far as what I thought I was going as this afternoon. Energy levels are a bit low, uh, but I've just got a patch out down there. I'm um, starting to be able to see some of the concrete now, which will be handy because I can get that out and let the soil sort of fall through as it goes, I hope. Uh, that's one of my ideas. And then, uh, as I say, the concrete and bits and bobs, all this sort of stuff, will end up in the base of the Adega before we concrete it.
So just digging the adega out and this just popped out the soil. Oop. Don't know where it is, it's got legs at the front. Obviously wants to bury itself. Uh, but we'll see if the chickens like it. see we've had a chicken escape again don't mind too much we've just got to keep an eye out when we know that they're out that the uh, dogs aren't running about especially Alfie Alfie chases them Dottie thinks it's fun so she joins in so that's all for this week I hope you enjoyed watching and don't forget the links to Instagram and Facebook below bye see you next week bye Welcome to this week's video. Um, we've had a bit of a bad week this week. Um, Weather's weather... not been very good. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right. I was trying to. Was there? She was eating me pocky. Let's go again. It's eating me show now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the girls are eating me show now. <laughs> Andy, that is. <laughs> So that's it from us for this week. Um, <laughs> chickens joining in. So if you uh, no, start again. <laughs> Bye. See you next week. Bye. <laughs>